Welcome and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Journeys in the Stolen Lands. We are ready to set out, finally. We got a lot of stuff to take care of here in the capital, but it's time to head out to go meet Keston up the Gudrun River, where we are going to try to figure out and stop what is bringing these monster seeds into our land. So we're gonna head down here to the bridge and then from there, I guess, travel east here along the river and see what we come to. I don't remember exactly where we're going here. Okay, we've got the Goblin Fort here, so we will start there. Okay. Goblin Fort. I'm not sure if this is where we are meeting Keston or not. Okay, we got freed prisoners. Make haste, help the defenders of the camp. Goblins are upon us, right? Goblin Sentry. Entertainment. I almost feel okay just like letting everybody real time this. I think that's what we're gonna try. See if we can just get in there and kill these goblins without messing around. Let everybody go at it. Got lots of freed prisoners here. Nice. Goblin Lynx Eye. When you get that one? Guard here is working on them. Okay. Oh, Alvar leveled up. Nice. Oh, Keston is here. Okay. Wasn't sure where we were meeting you. Keston nods. His armor is covered with cuts and scratches. There is blood on his gloves, but he himself is uninjured. You're right on time, Baron. We were losing hope. No longer. Now that you are here. Further down the path, behind a palisade, lies a nest of goblins. We chanced upon it while heading upriver. I've no idea when these pests managed to build it, and so fast, we scouted it less than a ten day ago, and there was no trace of them. Keston regains his composure. Whatever the cause, the surrounding area is thick with goblins. Only one of the scouts we sent made it back. He reports they have raised a fort of sorts at the top of the hill around a totem to Lamashtu. They packed the fort with cages, with prisoners inside. We've managed to rescue a few of the captives. Others escaped and came back on their own. We've questioned them. They say the shaman performs rituals on the prisoners. We entrenched ourselves here to prepare for an attack, but goblins keep coming at us. They're not giving us a moment's peace. The way they are hounding us, we cannot protect the survivors and attack the camp at the same time. Keston turns to face you, his eyes determined. Only you can rescue the caged prisoners in the fort, your grace. Can this goblin camp have something to do with the seeds? The only way to find out is to get inside. You'll have to get past the gates and see what's going on in there. Alright. How are the prisoners? Some are injured, many are exhausted, and every one of them is terrified after what they've been through. All the prisoners we've spoken to say they are taken to the Lamashtu Totem to take part in the magic rituals. What's strange is that the shaman doesn't sacrifice anyone. All he does is shriek and pray to Lamashtu and then force his victims to drink water until they start to choke. The prisoners mentioned a shaman. Is that the leader? The scout mentioned seeing a large white beast at the hilltop. He thought it might be a wolf. If true, the goblin king must be somewhere in the camp. We discovered the magic seeds are transported by water. If the shaman is infecting prisoners on purpose, then anyone who has consumed the water can give birth to a monster. There's no time. I have to kill them all. Keston turns pale. How dare you say that? We know how to save them. I refuse. Ugh. Dang it. <laughs> I hate this choice. Mm, man. He is not going to like this. Oh man, if we choose this, yeah, what, is he just going to leave? 
We have to think about that. Uh, man, I'm just so torn. Like, I Kane really wants to do this. But I don't. And from a gameplay perspective, if we do this, is he going to leave? Or just be totally pissed? Is there a way to rationalize that Kane goes along with Keston? Oh boy. Okay, I think I'm going to overrule Kane on this one. Have it your way, Keston. I'm grateful, Your Grace. Okay, let's go. Find the Goblin Shaman. Learn what he knows. we completely written off the goblins, but they weren't wasting their time. They built a huge fort by the river and began forcing the poor locals into drinking the tainted water. According to the reports, our old shaman friend is behind all this. Oh, he's going to get what he deserves, especially if I get to him before the Baron. The goblins had enough time to capture dozens of people. Some of them have already been forced to drink the infected water from the river, though we were able to spare some of the captives from that terrible fate. Anyway, we have to free these poor souls and let the Baron decide their lot, whether we send them to look for salvation or stop their suffering once and for all. Alright, that last choice. Wow. I, now that I think back to my last playthrough, I feel like we, did, we tried to spare the prisoners, and I feel like maybe that choice actually came back to bite us because a bunch of them turned into monsters in the end. Anyway, so I wonder if taking that lawful evil course actually would have uh, been okay for us. I probably should have just done it. We're leveling up Alvar here. I'm never, I'm not quite sure. Of course, he doesn't get many skill points at all. I've, the last few levels I've been putting him into perception as opposed to athletics. He's he's not probably ever going to have as much athletics here as uh, Kane. I'm not sure of the point. And I think the perception actually probably helps us more just in finding stuff or him seeing stuff, especially when he's, he's the one out in front of our group. And I also think that there are some feats that require a certain amount of perception. I think it was only three, but maybe there's others that require more. Anyway, that's where we're going with that. And we'll finish leveling him up. Okay, we finished up. He, he picked up the uh, tower shield defense. He gets his shield bonus also against touch attacks. We should be getting a little bit more here. From that. I'm not sure if that's included in the 16 or if this is going to be in addition to that. And then we took improved Iron Will to give him a couple more um, points there on his will saving throws. Uh, and that's it for him. Yeah, I, I actually, I wish I wouldn't have been so worried about that choice and just let Kane be Kane there. It would have been different from last time. And actually, now that I think about it, I we feel like it, it might have actually been the quote, right choice there. Anyway, I do think it is what it is. We let our... Our own thoughts influence Kane's action. We shall move. Our duty calls. I need to try to keep my own wishes out of it. My own wish to uh, complete this game. I I have a tendency to let that concern outweigh. Um, Role-playing aspects. Okay, we got some buffs on people there. We can uh, just charge these goblins. 
Don't need to waste a lot of time on them. <laughs> As he comes in with a crit for 39. All right. Well, that could have been better. Yes. All right. We need to pull back, manage this a little better. Got this bomb thrower over here. Those things are a real problem. Can Leopard actually get to him from there? Like, looks like it. I guess we'll try. Oh, no. Okay, I don't know why it shows, like, Leopard can attack from there. But I can't actually click. Not sure I want to risk moving to there. So, let's see. Alvar's really kind of in trouble there. He's got really hammered. Um, let's... I think we just have to skip Leopard there. I guess I could have delayed. Thinking. Yeah, Alvar, you're really hurting. Work on this sneak whack. Out of my way! Die, die, die! Get Bruin in there to heal. Maya, let's get some inspiration on. I didn't think we'd have this much trouble with three goblins here at the gate, but we are. Alright, we can also haste. I was kind of hoping we could just blow through these. When we're real-timing it, it doesn't give me much chance, though, to get some of the buffs and things going. This stupid archimist over here. Um, get Alora, get him with something. She could actually maybe hit him with color spray from here. Bet that fence. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we've got him. Well, let's not push our luck. He's dazed for the moment, but try to clear these two out. And nice. Okay. Now we can get people in here. No, I am angry. You've made your choice. We've breached the gates. Leopard? How about a trip? Alvar, just wait right there. Let the attack commence! Okay, Bruin. Gotta use another heal, I guess. Alvar really took a beating. I've spotted something. That's right, she's got inspired greatness now. Uh that's the one that we have to remember to turn off when we're done with it. Or it just runs all of our performance clear down. One. Okay, good. Didn't want that thing getting another bomb throw at us. Let us bide our time. Get Alvar healed up. Okay. Amaya, get this trap. More goblins there. Dog Reaper. Soldier. Dog Reaper. 
it's those bomb throwers we really gotta watch out for. I can see my get formed up here. We can get in there while we still have our haste going. See what we got here. If there's no Archimest, I'm just gonna real time it. I think we're safe doing that. Force Reaper. Okay. Anybody starts throwing bombs at us. Alright. Got them here pretty well lined up. Let's go ahead and get Fireball in here. Hopefully she can cast that before our front line starts moving up. Hurry up, Alora. Okay. Got a trap there. Um, let's... Okay, we're gonna have to... Be careful here, then. Um, they're almost dead. We can... We can hold people here. Then, uh... Amaya, just thunder call here. Probably kill these three. Oh, leopard, back. We're getting more incoming. I'm just worried about that trap. Okay. Now everybody can get in here. So it comes to this. Don't walk into this trap. I guess, can we send Amaya disarm that during the fight? Here, since we're on real time, I think. Yeah. Just don't want things getting out of hand here. But we got an alchemist coming in. I'm going to switch over to turn-based. Yeah, did we just get something thrown at us, I think? Or was that just... Not sure what just happened there. Yeah, Al Al Goblin Alchemist threw something at us. Amaya, let's inspire. Oh, jeez. Fireball. That's hitting Leopard, I think, right there. Nice. Crispy Goblins. In. Those two. I think we maybe just need to send Kane in there. Do the same with Leopard, then. Avoid this trap. Get him right up here. Maybe you can get attack of opportunity. And they try to throw something. A solid plan. Okay, now we can start to bring Leopard over here, maybe. Got another attack. Oh, nice. I don't like you. Nice. Thank you, Can. All right. We're doing fine here now. But I'm just worried about this trap here. Don't want anybody walking into that. You disarm that now. The deed is Good. Done. Okay. All right. Now we can let this run. Uh, 
Good. So many goblin bodies. We should um, kill the prisoner. We told, we told Keston we weren't going to do that. This feels so wrong. I feel like a rationalization for that from a role-playing perspective as Kane's lawful evil. It's not just gonna... I don't know. By killing them, he is actually trying to protect the realm. Okay, we picked up this robe of air. Could put that on Amaya. She'd lose a bunch of AC, but get some a bonus to electric. It's not she doesn't use the storm call all the time. That's really her only. I took the uh, electric focus spell focus. But other than Stormcall, really doesn't have that many. I don't think, um, where's Thundercall? I don't think it does electric damage, does it? Sonic damage, yeah. So I think, yeah, that's, I don't think that's worth it on her. Oh, jeez. On uh, Kane's uh, alignment, we're actually we're generally taking the the evil, lawful evil choices. But man, I just think in this case he's just not that evil. <laughs> just can't just kill the prisoners. Let them out, people. We might need them for something else. Okay, I miss anything here besides bodies we didn't loot. Okay, let's push forward. Let's see, do I save it? Or I should save it. Now yeah, let's. Be back on turn based here just so we don't accidentally run into something we didn't mean to. You're making your way through the goblin camp, a dirty, hastily erected settlement built of trash and mortared with what smells like goblin waste. You catch sight of the silvery glimmer of water ahead, then suddenly notice a squad of armed goblins moving towards the water as well, shouting and prodding at a few scared peasants in front of them. I'm gonna make them drink. Seemingly unaware of you, the goblins push the prisoners to the water's edge. One of the guards knocks the nearest captive, a decrepit old man, off his feet and he falls to his knees with a moan. The goblin throws a filthy bent label ladle in front of the man and points at the water. Drink fast. The old man picks the ladle with shaking hands, then stops, quivering with fear. <sighs> Jeez. Uh, if we... This... Uh, We know what's going to happen if we just watch. We're going to have monsters fight then for sure. We need to interrupt this now. Hearing your approach, the goblins whirl, see you, and start shrieking. Whether fear or battle cries, you cannot tell. In the heat of the moment, one of them drops his spear, another steps on the foot of the goblin next to him, and so it goes, causing a ripple of chaos to pass through their ranks. The old man, startled by the noise, drops the ladle into the water, and then, in the confusion, staggers to his feet and breaks into a run. The other prisoners follow, leaving the hapless guards howling in anger. Alright. Got it. Just as long as- if we don't have any bomb throwers, then, uh, we just let this go. 
make sure Alvar gets out here front. Yeah. Leopards intercept that one. Let's let's uh get Enna up here. Burn! Slice! Uh the head! Finish them off. Okay. a cage. I guess nobody's in there. All right, let's keep going here. Focus on the goal. Here we got bodies. The wounds on the man's body were left by goblin spears. Those goblin jerks. So what's that ring? Energy source. If the wearer of this ring has the ability to channel energy, it allows them to do it two time two additional times per day. Well that's handy. Throw that on there, Bruin. Nice. I shall not fail. I guess he must have to rest before it takes effect. Okay, more goblins. I don't need anyone's sympathy. Time to stretch me muscles. See who we've got here. Sneak, commander, rock eye. Wait until we get Anna up there next to Alvar. Save your fire there, Alora. I'll loot your corpse. I don't enjoy the real time combat as much as the turn based because I feel like it's just more of a, it, it it's a free for all that we're not really in control of but that being said it's like 10 times faster especially with fights like this let's get people in position here let this go got more incoming Make sure we don't get any bomb throwers. See, Kane's hurting a little bit. Bruin, get up there and heal him. Retreat is always an option. Kent, is he getting? Kane must be getting targeted by all these guys shooting arrows. Um. Bring him back here if we can. It might be too late to save him. Yep. Somebody sent a fireball in there. This alchemist jerk. Yeah. All right. Well, I should have expected that. Okay. Bless. Actually, Bruin might have been able to get Kane right back up there. He was standing. He is standing right next to him. Die, die, die. Leopard, get on this, Alchemist. Okay. Alora. We actually could use a fireball here. I got leopard in the way now. Uh, let's do this instead. Burning arc. Uh, 
my uh We could could use the storm call. We don't have to move up. Still gonna be out of range for them, it looks like. Let's just get some inspiration going. a blinding ray on this guy. Good. This is unexpected. Let's get Anna down here. Leopard went down. Thunder call without hitting Leopard's body. Like, just not quite. <laughs> okay, let's. Maybe if we just move first. Well, I could just get the Alchemist. Alright, Bruin, let's get Kane back up. I'll just have to resort to brute force. Oh, Kane. Okay. <laughs> I thought was thinking that was Alvar we were moving up. Did not mean to send right out there. I shall survive this ordeal. Put a displacement on Kane. We could use the invisibility, but save that. Call here now. We're using a lot of healing. This fight really shouldn't have been this big of a deal. We let it kind of get out of hand. Alchemist. See if Kane can get in there and kill it. Okay. Alright. Finish him off. Okay, we've got more incoming. We get another Alchemist all of a sudden throwing bombs at us. We're going to be back in trouble again. Can just is constantly the target of these bowmen. Let's see if we can get him out of here. Just really wanting to get after him. You've made your choice. Okay, you're gonna have to fight. Dang it, he's down again. 
Up. Oh. We're about to get a fireball right on us. See if we can avoid that with a thunder call. Good. All right, we need more healing on Kane. So many goblins. Laura. Got burning arc, magic missiles. See if we can get this one whittled down. So it comes to this. Kane's really kind of turned into a glass cannon. He just cannot take a hit, but he definitely dishes it out. Fortunately, he is often, seems like it, he is the one targeted. Should have known that was not going to end well. Okay. Anna. Got this one left over here. May I see your entrails, please? Probably more where he came from. Just do a hold person for the heck of it. Do a channeling. Are we going to end up having to make camp before we can get through this area? Not sure how much is left. Out of my way! I'll just have to resort to brute force! Feels like we ought to be getting kind of near the end. Don't remember how this plays out. Oh, uh, I think. Okay, so it must continue around here and then is the fort like up in this middle area? Burn! Slice! Uh, behead! Leopard's back with us. Well, we've got scrolls and things we can get people healed up. Goblins really, uh, individually for the most part, are not an issue. There's just so many of them, and when those bomb throwers do come out, they are a problem. Okay, let's go into our inventory and just get some people healed up with stuff that we've got. Might as well use these potions we're carrying around. Use up these smaller scrolls. We can throw one of these on Bruin and heal up Leopard. Oh, he's got that. He's got, I think he has a wand. Don't we have a a healing wand? I think. Might as well use it. 
pretty sure somebody has. Does she have that? Huh. Maybe I used that. Okay. I don't see it. I thought we had a wand of pure wounds. I will guide something here. Trap, Amaya. The deed is done. Prisoner, you can kill. I can see my destination. Have we got a dire wolf? Running over that way? Without a doubt. They dare threaten me. Hey, Bruin, let's. Do we need a blessing? Oh, we still got a blessing. How about. Uh. Aspect of Falcon. Inspire. We need a haste too. That would that'll help things. Burning arc there, Alora. The wolf coming back. It is. Nice leopard. It's just these three. Surely we can manage that. One swing from Kane. Those two are dead. Okay. All right, prisoner. Let's let him out. Tigny Jesmert. I think we have to talk to him. Okay. Tigny. You. Yes, you there. Let me out of here. Come on, move it. Are you waiting for the entire goblin horde to show? I've had to deal with dozens of goblins on my way here, so a few more are of little concern. Who are you? A corpulent man in a ragged jacket and worn out trousers is in the cage, his hands tight on the bars as if trying to throttle them. Tigny Jesmert, a free merchant. Now that formalities are out of the way, can you see about setting me free? Hmm. Free you? What do I get out of it, if I do? Tigny's eyes widen in horror, and he licks his lips. Sweating profusely, he presses his face against the bars and whispers. You know the bridge over Gudrun River? Down the stream, not far from Tuskwater? On the same side as the barony, there are bushes growing near the road and the bridge. I, I buried a little something there, under one of the bushes. It's yours if you let me out. Alright, come out. I hope you can find your way out of the camp. Okay, so we got some treasure to look for. The bridge. Is that all the prisoners? Alright, let's just check down this way. Be thorough. There are many roads to success.
Okay, here we go. I can see my destination. Never a dull moment. I've spotted something. Ooh, we got a, a trap there. Shoot. Can we bring everybody back. Too late. Focus on the goal. Time to rob right. them of their treasures. We've got a couple more fireballs. I think we're gonna use here if we can. Let the attack come out. Laura's got a controlled fireball. Can we hit everything with it? Or do we need to wait? We need to wait for them to move up. Let's delay. Of course, they come in after Kane. Never fails. Be Bane. Okay, now let's. Perfect spot for a controlled fireball, I would say. Nice. And kill this wolf. And the goblin. We shall overcome. Nice, Alvar. Jeez. Is that Anna over here? I can take care of this trap. Guess we can't do it on this turn. I don't know. Okay, try to shoot your bow now. Oh, I just canceled Enna's turn. A solid plan. And get you up here. Okay, try the trap again, Amaya. I do not believe this is possible. Again? <laughs> Have to wait. I'll split you in half. That thing's gonna get another shot on us. Nope. Okay, try this again. Surely. I have there we go. Managed. Okay. Can we go any further down here. Does anyone it require my counseling? Okay. All right. So we really just have the one direction here to go. I will guide. Okay. 
Drunken Goblin. Without a doubt. Let's back up this way. It actually looks like. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this drunk is doing. I can see my destination. <laughs> well, they're just. They're all over here having a party. Hick. No secrets can escape my prying gaze. This tusk is beyond Oh, come me. on. Your tr her trickery is This tusk is beyond me. One more. The deed there we go. is done. Jeez. Look under that rock, Anna. Picking up quite a few things for the storyteller here. There are many roads to success. Racers. Armor plus four. Actually, don't think. Well, maybe. Let's see, we might have somebody that could use those. Uh, she's wearing the archery ones. So is he. And, uh, um, Alora already has some of those. Any of these guys want to talk? They're too busy. Yeah. Oh, is that the main? Okay. So let's check up here first. Looks like there to the left is like the main camp. I don't know. Maybe this is. Okay, camp both ways. These guys are all drunk. I spy. What the deed What's is over done. there? <gasps> nah, I don't. I feel like our perception must be like <laughs> high enough now that we're really noticing the hidden treasures. We got escaped prisoners over this way. Ah, Aerith still have mercy. You've scared us. Who... Who are you? Have you come to rescue us? How'd you manage to hide from the goblins? They haven't really looked for us, to be honest. So we just hid in these bushes, and we're waiting for the right moment to make a run for it. What are you doing here? Hiding. We managed to flee from the shaman right after the ritual. That little freak almost drowned us. At first he was jumping all around us and waving his crutch, but then he took a pot of water and started to pour it on us. Pour it into us. I thought, that'll be the end of us. And then it got weird. The goblins untied us from the column, led us away, and then just forgot all about us. They were busy with the other prisoners. Well, we didn't lose any time, and now we're thinking about climbing down this slope and getting out of here. You haven't escaped. You were released after they've infected you with the magic seeds. What? You mean the water? No, it can't be. Stop scaring us. We just need to get out of this place. Oh boy, I don't know what it is about this. I really hate this choice. Climb down the hill and run away. The militia headquarters are located near the goblin camp. Head there. Once we've freed all the prisoners, we'll find a way to cure you. Okay. So this is just an upper entrance to the camp up here. Yeah, I do have, like, we get Blur back on Alvar. He's still got the heroism. Actually, Amaya has a few heals we should remember we have. Okay, I, hopefully we'll have enough here to get us through one more big fight. I feel like that's probably what we've got. Missed. 
Leopard's blocked. Burning arc through there. They're really going after Bruin. I'll just have to resort to brute force. Maybe back there a little. Okay, Amaya, let's inspire and haste. May I see your entrails, please? Leopard, you still can't move. Your death awaits. There we go. Uh. Say prayer. Just need every little boost we can get. Get us through this. Thunder call that Archimist. Last fireball. You've made your choice. Aim carefully. Nice Bruin. Okay, let's we can finish the rest of them off now. Got the Archimist. Good. Okay. Need a little bit of healing. See if we could use this one. Spotted something. So many traps. The deed is done. All right, and I just leveled up. Short sword. The deed is done. Okay, let's level her up. Okay, we got Anna leveled up to greater shield focus, so she gets uh, another. One AC for from her shield, and then we took dodge. Should be getting another two AC from those two things, I believe. And that's it. All right, we've got to be nearing the end of this, I think. I guess I don't know how far this goes. Still, kind of this whole corner of the map down here. Without a doubt. I appreciate You approach a massive totem of Lamashtu that is surrounded by goblins. Despite all the noise you have made on your way here, nobody pays any attention to you. Right now, they are busy tying up screaming, crying people to the totem. A few more goblins are standing nearby, shrieking fiercely and stomping their feet to the rhythm of a melody known only to them. The shaman emerges from behind the backs of his tribe members, a goblin you already know covered in tattoos and bedangled with amulets. This time, his face is painted with red clay and soot, and a necklace of sharp teeth adorns his neck. 
The shaman is holding a crudely painted bowl above his head and singing in a plagent, plag plangent, dismal tone that resembles a howl more so than a song. The other goblins pick up the melody and give way to the shaman, who is walking towards the totem. Interfere with the ritual. At the sound of your attack, the goblins around the totem spring up to their feet and grab their weapons. The shaman sees you and yells violently, throwing the bowl of water at you. Before you have time to react, he disappears in the goblin crowd, which in, in turn attacks you. Okay, he, he, he's getting away. Got a bunch of goblins to deal with. We may have to pull out some scrolls and wands and things. Kind of low on spell uses. Unless we... Are there any... Uh, have any... Bomb throwers here? Might be okay just... Letting this roll. I'm going for it. I think we're good. It would be nice to get a fireball in there on that group. Alora has a some scrolls, a fireball. Let's get one out here. Yeah. Okay. That cleared him out. Get that commander taken care of. We just got three left. Oh, and some over here. I'm not touching that. Okay, group back up. We're not done. Get this trap. We got a couple guys hanging around here. I guess they haven't noticed us yet. You get this one. The deed is I feel like done. there's probably another trap there. I will see this through. The road calls me. I'll take the bait. Now what? These guys surely got got to notice us. Entertainment. <laughs> Got more just appearing out of nowhere. Alora's got a magic missile here. Get this rock guy. Ruin, what are you doing? Uh, your aspect of the falcon on. You got time. Might be over before he does that. Okay. Lots of goblins dead. Let's talk to the prisoners. The prisoners are still chained to the totem. They look at you with vacant eyes as if they do not fully understand what is happening. Examine the prisoners. Simple clothes, work-worn hands, weather-beaten faces, the people in front of you clearly earn their living under the sun or in the forest. Apart from bruises and gaze grazes, nobody looks seriously hurt. The prisoners are looking at you slightly dazed and a shadow of the horrors they've been through hangs over their faces. Okay. Path is free. Go to Keston and his militia. They'll take care of you there. Some chicken or something there. So we still the need to go done. catch the shaman. Wand of Stinking Cloud. Well, he took off down this way. He had get away. Can we catch up? I will guide. Okay, he must be down in here. There he is. Ah, time to stretch me muscles. Goblin ah, King. Okay, we've got a lot to deal with here now. Okay. 
Druin, let's uh bless. Anna, get up here by Alvar. Oh. Okay, the Winter Wolf just took out a couple goblins for us. Fine. Get this king. This one. Nice cane. And Amaya. Let's actually let's use the inspire greatness. And our last haste. That shaman's got those three red caps that are gonna be a pain. Oh, he's got four wolves as well. get knocked down or something can't see where he is oh he's right there okay. all right we've got then we have wand to fireball yeah use that Still have two red caps here alive. I'll just have to resort to brute force. <laughs> They've got a lot of health too. Okay, Amaya. It's thunder call. Oh, actually, let's start hold person on the shaman. Summoning more. Yes. We gotta get him taken care of before we have a whole uh, army of animals. Wow. We gotta deal with the shaman. If we could kill him, we'd get rid of everything. But he's got a lot of health. Um, sort of running out of options here. Oh, I forgot we have this guarded hearth. Okay, I'd say now is as good a time as any to use that. Target point. Create a ward that protects the specified area. Well, hey. right here, I guess. We I don't know if it cast it on an individual. Let's cast it on Kane. Huh. 
it's a fairly large circle. We really need to get to the shaman. Can we just try to probably trying to send Kane around there would make sense. Let the attack commence. Leopards really surrounded here. Yeah, these red caps here are a problem. Got one of them. Actually, if Alora could get to Kane to put invisibility on him, that would be perfect. Come around. Greater invisibility. Yes, she can read. Nice. Okay, he can he can get to the shaman. That's awesome. Nice. Still got some work to do on him. Um. We've got just three rounds left on our performance. Could you sleep? All enemies in a ten foot burst. Yeah. Let's try that on this group back here. Not sure that did anything. See if we can get attack of opportunity. Oh man. More monsters. That's crazy. Oh, they can see him? If Kane gets tripped or something there, we're in trouble. This could, this could be bad. Dang it. Basically, Kane needs to kill him here. We're dead. Everybody needs to shoot at the shaman. Attack. Ruin got taken down. Anna. Good switch to her bow. I mean, fighting these wolves here doesn't really do anything for her. We, if she could by chance land a hit on the shaman. Might be the difference between killing it or not. A terrible mistake. All right, Kane, you're gonna have one chance here. Three, three swings. It's probably not gonna be enough. We really need to get studied target on him too. We can do that as a swift action. Can we not? You've made your choice. Come on, no more. Yes. Oh, oh. They all drop, but the winter wolf. Nice job, Kane. Attack. Well, I wasn't sure we were gonna we were gonna do this. That was big. That greater invisibility was massive there too for him to be able to get over there. The wolves must have some sense like to be able to, to see invisible creatures, but I think maybe they they must not all have seen him. And he survived long enough to take down the shaman. Oh we need to we need to swap Anna's weapon back. We need to be careful, I guess we don't die just to this wolf now. Get back over there, Kane. So it comes to this. There we go. Um Got anything we could use on that one? Can't hold it. I guess we'll just shoot at it. Strike as one. <laughs> 
smear them. Okay. Ruin. Let's see. We've got a little bit of healing. We can do... Is all this blood mine? Never thought I had that much. Get her slapped back over here. Frost to battle axe. Oh, Why she's just right back down. I'll just have to report to brute force. Come on, Kane. We need to be done with this. Good. Oh, that is so good. Okay, Shaman. As you approach, the Shaman bursts into bizarre squawking. After a moment, it becomes clear to you the goblin, choking on his own blood, has broken into gloating laughter. The Baron be too late. The will of Lamash too came true. The bloom be happening. What are you talking about, you madman? The shaman's eyes, red, small, and wicked, have a feverish glint to them. And who else? The blossom seeds came down the stream. We drink. Boom, boom. Longshanks drink. Boom, boom, boom. Flowers grow. Great beasts crawl out. Lamash too be pleased. I knew straight away what goblins do must. Go upstream. Seek great mother. The shaman convulsively sucks some air in and carries on with a weak, weakening voice. Find Lamashtu's womb up the river. Home of great beasts. Seed breedery. Leave guard so no one come in. And go back, back. Make the longshanks gulp. Taint more, more. So man death. All seeds be planted. All. Make it before. The light in the shaman's eyes is growing dim. Make it before what? The shaman's words become quieter and quieter. We be Lamashtu's sons. Watering, seed sowing, readying for the season of bloom. All together. Boom, boom, boom. The shaman emits a long wheeze and freezes, looking straight into your eyes. His dull eyes are lit by an evil flicker. The season of bloom has begun. You know stop us. And he's done. Okay. I assume we're going to have to go back to Keston and regroup. See what's happening with the prisoners that we released. Okay, I guess we'll see what else we find up here and then we'll head back down to Keston. I think we've taken care of all of the goblins. We're actually we're not in great shape here though. Um I need and, but I really don't want to Shall we move? I guess we we've got move. some scrolls we might as well use. Get healed up a little bit. Um we're obviously going to have to camp though. Feels this feels like a waste, but we may have uh, monsters now we have to deal with. Some of those escaped prisoners are going to turn into monsters, I bet. We should have let Cain kill him when he had the chance. Come back to bite us. I spy. What do I spy? Yeah, we're really picking up the uh, hidden chests. Which is good. I'm glad maybe we're getting our perception to a point where it needs to be. What about down here? <laughs> Did somebody say perception? Oh, man. Somebody might die from this. Nobody noticed that trap, apparently. <laughs> that would happen right after I'm talking about how we're able to notice things. Oh, well. Okay. Apparently, we missed something down here. Oh, I guess that was the trap. We just never opened it. Okay, it was not worth it. Alright, so we can head back around. We missed some loot out here, apparently. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna head back by way of this loot we missed. Back to Keston. Okay, Bruin had some healing left. We kind of used up the rest of 
everything he had to get people healed back up. We should be uh, close here to Keston. We'll see what's happening down here with the uh, prisoners we let go. This is the right way, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. It should be right here. Okay. And, yep. Yeah. Now we've got monsters to fight. Enemy near. We should have let Kane just have his way. Now people are going to get hurt. Your death. Um, we're so low on like spells and stuff. We may need to just real time it anyway, just because that's pretty much all we're gonna have left to do anyway. Amaya has basically nothing. I did forget she has a couple of heals could have used. Could try to sleep. Be far away. Strike as one. Let's get Anna up here next to Alvar and then go at it. I guess we at least this way we save some of the prisoners instead of killing them all. I wonder actually if we still have any haste scrolls we could use. That cast just went down, yeah. Okay, Laura, just got the fireball wand. Can't really probably use that though, can we? I guess we're not gonna hurt. I mean, Keston's body is still here somewhere. We can get a fireball in over here. Now, Amaya, what I'm wondering is, I think I had, yeah, we've got haste scrolls. We also have the wand of haste. All right, I forgot about that, too. All right, let's, let's use the wand of 17 uses. I guess we technically could have made camp before we came back down here. That would have made this a little bit easier. No fear. Albert's going after them. Get Leopard in here. I think uh, it's r kind of risky. I'm just gonna turn this off and let let this play out. I think we can kill these. This might be casualties in the process. Alpair's chasing that prisoner all over. So far, it's the guards taking the heat, not us. Two of them down. Just got the Wyvern and Albear left. Albear's down. There's the Wyvern. Okay. Okay, Keston's alive. For now. Keston breathes heavily, looking around the bloody battlefield. Your Grace, how can this be? The people, the prisoners from the camp, they've exploded just like that. The shaman was mumbling about a season of bloom. It seems the seeds the people swallowed turned into portals. Why do we act like we are just learning about this? 
Keston wipes his brow. If all the seeds have blossomed, Abadar protect us. The capital is full of infected, both on the streets and in Kavkin's hospital. You must hurry to the capital. I will continue looking for the source of the seeds. The shaman mentioned a place up the stream, Lamashtu's womb. It is the source of the seeds. That I'm gathering my men and heading out there. Keston's brow darkens and his eyes narrow. I swear upon my life I will find this womb, your grace, and destroy the source of the disease. But Kavkin, gods be merciful. He has no one to protect him. And the citizens, will the guard be enough to halt the attack of these horrid creatures? Keston falls silent for a moment, his brow troubled. No, I have to go up the river. Make sure there are no new seeds. I must stop, stop this curse at the source. It is for you to decide, Your Grace, where your help is more needed. Jod will defend his patience to the last. As for me, I'll do the same. Anything to put an end to this horror once and for all. Okay, this is the choice, I think, where Keston is going to probably end up dead. We can send him to the capital instead. Why not? Maybe. I mean, let's all go to the capital and then we can all go to Lamashtu's womb. Oh, but Kav is Kavkin's by himself. Is Kavkin already there? No, Kavkin's at the capital. Why not? We've got the option as a lawful alignment to just take him back with us to the capital. We, we don't have to hurry to the womb, do we? Keston, you're in my service, not to play hero in the woods while my subjects, the families of your militia, are being sacrificed. Now fulfill your duty, gather your squad, and take it to the capital. Keston freezes, then lowers his eyes. I'm sorry, Your Grace. The immediacy of the situation clouded my judgment. I shall head to the capital at once, Baron. Cool, we'll meet you there. Maybe we, maybe he can survive this. Defend the capital. Yeah. All right. Okay, we might want to actually wait. We should come back here and pick up. There's going to be a lot of stuff to pick up, but that's going to weigh us down. And we're going to need to be moving freely when we get back there. Because we're going to have monsters crawling the capital that we're going to have to take on. We're not going to want to be weighed down. But I think we can come back anytime and pick all that stuff up. So we'll just have to remember to do that because there's going to be a lot of armor and stuff we can sell for some gold. All right, that is the Goblin Fort. Yeah, lots of stuff we'll need to come back and pick up. So mental note to do that. Thanks for being here and watching. This is going to be a longer episode, I know, but uh, we took care of a lot. Killed a lot of goblins. Really appreciate you being here with me in the Stolen Lands, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.